We have the Landlords in blue, the Napalm in orange. 3 2 1 is the countdown. Here we go. Let's get into some twos league night action here. Biggs is going to go ahead and try to take it off of the wall. Here he's going to be patient, gets bumped out. Still going to try to make another touch on it, but Arish is going to be able to get it away to the corner of the blue team. Now Pythe trying to put it away. Arish still trying to put it in the center for his partner. Biggs is going to be able to turn that out, and King's going to go and chase it back to his corner. And King putting it across. It's going to be made with Arish trying to make a touch here, getting some sort of offensive pressure generated for the orange team. And right away, very back and forth, right off of the initial start here, as we are 30 seconds into the game, but still anything can happen. What are you seeing so far? What needs to happen to make any sort of offensive pressure um, be bearable for either team? Well, right now it looks like they're just feeling each other out a bit and uh, everybody's being a nice and patient. I haven't seen anybody go for anything crazy yet so far. And then again, this is minor tier, so their patience is a lot better than what I'm used to. Absolutely, absolutely. Up here in the Meyer tier, it is going to be a lot more of a methodically placed or played game, a little bit more like chess, less like checkers, and, and, and more calculated aggression plays here. As we do Just have like a play that. developing here, Ooh. and Pyth is able to slot that one away, and now we have a 1 0 ball game. Arish looked like. They've uh, started to find a rhythm, and the blue team right there, they are definitely showing why that they have a lot of saves. Although, as I say that, of course, a curse of the announcer. Nice goal by Arish Kegel. Ooh. Yeah, and he's just showing off why he's able to put away 77, now 78 shots, or goals, rather, uh, in this very short twos league season. I mean, that was just a good opportunity, open that opportunity for him. He's able to slot that one away, and now we get a tie ball game because of it. Yeah, basically the same exact thing happened with the blue team scoring. They uh, didn't get to rotate fast enough and took advantage of a nice open goal. Yeah, Pythe trying to change that tied scoreline here. Blue team in general trying to change it. Now just fighting over it in the corner, going back and forth is the ball. And now out to the midfield. It's going to be turned back into the side of the orange team. Dagger Jack's trying to get a pass off for his partner, but his partner is not going to be able to make that shot opportunity happen for themselves. Maddox Biggs trying to put it off to the wall, is able to, but it gets demoed. King trying to make something happen here, and the shot is unable to come of it. Now the Dagger Jags and Arishki go. Arishki go gets a shot opportunity there, but Biggs gets a great save there on the goal line here. Got about a minute and 20 minutes, seconds here left to play, and once again, a lot of offensive pressure for the Orange team. Yeah, they are in the zone right now in my opinion they they're starting to put a lot of pressure on the blue team it was it's reversed since the beginning of the game and i uh, to be honest i would not be surprised if they were able to bury one home pretty close as long as they got some good touches on them and they're doing a good job of the good touches 
Yeah, the landlords at the start did look very strong. They did put away the first goal coming out on top 1-0 to over the Napalm. But the Napalm have just continued to bring this pressure back towards the landlords and just bear down shot after shot after shot opportunity for themselves. And an opportunity comes for the landlords, but unable to slap that shot away is big. He decides to be patient and is met with a save because of his patience. Yes, and he we trying to... That nice counterattack is Irish, but blue team's keeping up with the pace. I mean... Unfortunately, I have not seen them play enough, but by their goal score, they have to play fast. Definitely. And, I mean, any team at this level is going to be playing insanely quick to what I'm personally used to, but that's that's the beauty of being able to cast multiple levels and have multiple tiers in the RSC like we do. We're going to be winding down with the last final 10 seconds here. And do we see OT? We got some pressure over here from the Napalm. And it looks like we will end this one in overtime. Here we go. I can't wait for uh, to see what type of goal comes out of this one. Right now, it's been two open goals. I'm curious to see if the the offensive prowess defeats the defensive stalwart. Well put, indeed. I'm actually really curious to see, does mm. defense make the best offense or does offense make the best offense here? We'll find out shortly here as we get into the first 30 seconds of this overtime. It looks like the Napalm might have a breakaway opportunity here. Pass comes of it. It's going to go a little bit over the backboard here. And King is unable to make a shot because of it. And Arisha Gold now trying to get another pass out to the mid. He's going to try to do it all solo by himself. Maddox Biggs meets him with a save. And King putting back, that one back into the corner. King trying to put it back out towards the 50. And Arisha Gold is going to have to meet it on the opposite wall. Now Biggs trying to get it clear for the blue team now. Uh, King's gonna put it back into the corner. Pythagor Jags decides Ooh. not to make a touch there. Very smart, as that could have been disastrous for the landlords. Now landlords shaking it out. Pythagor Jags puts it out to the midfield. King is just waiting there for it. Biggs now looks like a little bit of a uh, boomer ball coming out of these two teams here, but still a lot of pressure from the Napalm squad. A little missed touch right there. I don't think he meant to do that, so they can get something out of this. Another sort of missed touch again, right into Arish. And I, I think this is kind of dangerous, but the ball deflecting right there, and that's a uh, that keeps him away. And that, to be honest, that got that got kind of scary for me. <laughs> it seems like we got a clash of two giants here. We have a defensive giant and an offensive giant. The defensive giants mm. being able to turn away any sort there of opportunity go. here. Now they have an opportunity on offense. Maddox Biggs put it off the oh. sidewall and is unable to capitalize off of it as he misses his opportunity. Unfortunate there for the landlords. Now coming back the way is King. 50 there for the landlord. It's wide open. Arisha mm. goes able to fuck that one away. And we got a two to one score line. That double commit off of, well, unfortunately, off of the miss off the crossbar, just a little too excited. Maddox Biggs had a chance to end it, and there goes Arish ending it instead. So your oh. napalm come out on top for game one in this set of three games here. We still have two games left to play, regardless of whether it's. Uh, you know, two to three, or I mean, two to one, or, or three to zero. You know, all three games are going to get played here, regardless of scoreline. But Napalm is securing that first one. Look well on their way to carry this momentum over into game number two. Yeah, that was an excellent game, and everybody played really well. I have to admit, I didn't see King doing too much, but he didn't need to. He he was the quiet, and uh, obviously in comms are probably not too quiet, but he was the quiet person on the field, and... It would be interesting to see if he picks it up, what happens in the next couple of games. Definitely. You got 799 points coming out of Arish and yeah. and a great, well-deserved MVP because no, the next closest score is over on the landlord side of things at 595. So two goals, three saves. Keep it up, man. Don't change nothing. Nine shots. Maybe try to get a little bit uh more on target with those shots but uh napalm <laughs> do come out well deserving in that one uh and we're gonna take things into game number two now as we load up i have to admit i just that now you mentioned the nine shots to two scores uh his uh percentage is dropping a little bit i, don't, I wonder how he feels about that definitely but the the the, the landlords have have proven to us why they are so awesome on the goal line you know how many saves they have accounted for it's very evident that uh, like i said we got a clash of two titans here we got defense versus offense here uh it, it looks like the 
the landlords have a very kind of counterattack sort of an attitude. You know, get a save. A great opportunity comes here. Luis is unable to put that one away, but that was an insanely mechanical play had he made that. Now we're going to go back to the midfield of it. But, uh, yeah, you, you got the clash of two giants here and, and, and the defense versus offense, and it's very... Um, it's very fun to watch because it leaves these tight knit games like we're getting and, and because of that I'm here for every second of it. Yeah, and then that shot like a shot like that, you gotta be a little careful if you're the other team, because that right there, if he just if he could just keep it accurate, this is dangerous too. There you go. Pythagor Jags from Maddox Biggs off the corner. I'm not sure exactly, Arish, I believe, just couldn't turn around in time and very, very good shot right there. Nice hit. Yeah, great 50 forces that ball over in the corner and that corner kind of bounce just brings it right back out towards the center and Pythagor Jags is just able to slot that one away. And Landlords find themselves up early again. And oh. now, bang, a score is going to be <laughs> able to slot it one away in the favor of the uh, Napalm, excuse me. And now we got a tight ball game. This back and forth, this is it's insane. I didn't even have a chance to breathe right there. I was going to get a drink of water, and he uh, didn't give me any chance. Thank you very much. Exactly. It, it seems like it's just so quick, back and forth between these, these minor tier teams uh, once they get that initial goal going for them. Uh, but it seems like there's this wall that's been, or this barrier that's been broken, and, and, you know, hopefully we'll get goal after goal after playmaking is... play, after an intense save. You know, it, it's... Any team is liable to pop off, and any player here, Maddox being that player, is going to be able to put away a goal for the landlords, and landlords find themselves up two to one. I didn't. I, I was curious as to what Arish did right there. It seemed like he was going to demo him, and then just drove away. Um, it ended up being a mistake right there, leading to an easy ground dribble goal. Yeah, easy breakaway for Maddox Biggs. They're not going to miss this at the minor tier level. Um, mm -hmm. So we find ourselves in a two to one ball game because of that, because of that un unfortunate mistake for the Napalm team. But we got plenty of game left here. There are three minutes and 40 seconds of the clock. That's and if another breakaway happens for the Napalm and King mm. slots that one away. You said you wanted to see more of him. There he is. And he takes advantage of a nice, nice play right there off the wall. Fortunately, no challenge uh, from Pythagor Jags. And uh, they can hit that at this tier. Pretty, I wouldn't say consistently, but I'd be careful. Let's put it that way. I said I wanted to see it, and it is happening in tenfold. You get the first initial goal scored in the game by each team, and then just a plethora and goals being scored in plenty by both teams. That is now four goals scored in just over two minutes. Um, versus the last game, we only had three goals scored Ooh. total, and an unfortunate miscalculation there by the Orange Team player, and Maddox Biggs is able to come up big with Landlord's third goal. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting him, not not just, I was expecting a save, and I admit, but uh, the entire sequence of him running it down towards the goal, I did not expect. And Maddox Biggs is putting on a lot of pressure, and he's playing really aggressive, and I like it. Yeah, not sure if the orange player thought that he had a better control over that ball and was expecting a flick or what that might have been, but a miscalculation as it was, and now it's 3-2 to two Landlords with three minutes of game left. And here comes a rush, though. Like, every single time the, they uh, have scored, the uh, Napalm comes right back. Bang. Scoring. But uh, this is this is getting it to be a very intense game, and I'm enjoying myself very much. Definitely. Now is trying to get it out towards the midfield. He's going to try to make a play, but has no boost to speak for himself. And it's going to get turned away at the midfield. Maddox Big is dumping it back into the way of the Napalm. And King has got a great pinch out back towards the midfield. The Tiger Jacks is waiting for it. Puts it back into the blue corner now. Arisco is trying to make some sort of play happen. A great opportunity there for the Napalm. But King is not able to be in the slot for his partner there. And now the Napalm here are trying to change things around and get the scoreline back in their favor, or at least tied up. Yes, and it looks like they definitely have the opportunity here. Nice pass by King. Uh, Erish to King, blue team though, or sorry, landlords, I should call them the landlords, uh, in position like they have always been pretty much the entire game, except for the uh, obvious open goals. 
Ooh, Seems to be biting them a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. These open nets back and forth have, have really <laughs> what have been capitalized on mostly. You know, both teams seem super solid on defense. Just right now, it seems to be the defense of the landlords that is shining through, um, which is a little bit different of, a, of what the scoreline would have told you in that first game here. But one of miss calculated double commit in overtime found the napalm up and winning that game. But uh, this this game seems to be speaking differently. Another opportunity Ooh. here for the landlords, and it's going to get turned away by King, and he puts it out back towards the midfield. And now we're we're battling for the ball a little bit more in the midfield, and and. and it's a little bit more back and forth once again, kind of like we saw in game one as well. Yes, but this game actually feels a little bit more on the landlord side, no matter what. The score, yes, is three to two, but even without that, if they were tied, it would still feel like they had a little bit more momentum than, than Napalm does. I agree. Maddox Biggs is, is being a prominent player for the mm -hmm. landlords, but it's not even going to make a save there. A great shot from a goal here is he's off with the right wall for it's going to be able to get one touch, two touch. And just drop that one into the goal of the landlords, and now we got a tie ball game again. I think the opposite teams are gonna love me from when I talk about one team to the other, because both times uh, I've, I've praised one team, the opposite, opposite team has scored. So I hope they're not listening. Oh, they always seem to be listening in, right? It's that <laughs> sort of like cast or curse sort of a mentality that our chat is always, uh, always deeming that us to have, right? But. Uh, ultimately, it's more of a blessing, right? Because you in, in turn kind of help out or you in turn uh, sort of like switch the momentum of the game and it's always more interesting to watch, right? So I don't consider it a curse at all, but Maddox Biggs is still coming up huge on the goal line oh, for the Landlords. He turns another one away. He's got oh, six my. total saves so far. Oh my, these these shots are just, they're so close and it's... Uh... It's getting really intense. I'm actually starting to get to the point where I'm staring and being a fan instead of being a nice uh, a participating caster with you. But that just goes to show you how exciting this game is and how good these two teams are as we're going to go probably into overtime tied at three. Yes, it is. Looks like the ball is going to touch. We have our second overtime in two games. Both games, extremely exciting Rocket League played by both teams. And it's it's been an insane showing by the Miners here thus far. I mean, it's been uh, super exciting defensively. It's been super excited offensively. You know, a little bit more calculated here in the second game rather than the feeler game that was game one here. Um, but Landlord's trying to take a game away from Napalm. Napalm trying to continue their sweeping efforts as we are now 30 seconds into overtime and the Napalm with their efforts are on the offensive push. Yes, and I like how King's actually looking like he's being a little bit more aggressive in this overtime. Could it bite them? Possibly, but uh, again, they, these, both these teams seem to know what they're doing, especially right now. And I think uh, there's a nice hit right there, wide left, but this is uh, this is pretty, getting pretty intense in overtime. Absolutely, and reasonably so, right? These, both of these teams, if you go ahead and you look at their their statistics over here we do find that both of these teams are within playoff contention here uh the landlords fighting for that third spot um the napalm solidly in first here um in uh, their solar uh conference Ooh, here we go it's just a matter of who wants oh. it more here pythagor jack's trying to prove that he wants it more he's going to put on a couple shots but nothing comes of it the defense mm. able to put that one away yeah so it's, it's close shots that you hopefully they don't have the heartbreak because you feel like you could get these in you don't want to you don't want to lose focus because that means you just keep banging them banging them and eventually one will go in it's just which well-oiled machine is going to break down first at this point both teams not wanting to give an inch here maddox biggs trying to prove mm. that he wants it more and it's going to get turned away by napalm the risky goal is trying to put a goal in for the orange it. team he's going to put it out towards the midfield for king king is going to try to put it off of the left wall and into the center for his partner he's going to be able to do just that but it goes just over the, the crossbar i reach google trying to get that back into play here for them but Patagger jacks put it out to the midfield maddox bigs mm. coming up big once more no he does not the check goes wide and the pass is turned away by a risky goal now he's going to put it back into it 50s king the 50 is Dangerous. favorable for them. Pythagor Jacks, another 50. Blue team all over this ball right now. And another great opportunity is going to come up short. Yes, that was a great, great job by Napalm to keep their patience because 
that ball was just sitting on that crossbar, and at any time you could just, if you panic, that one's an easy goal for the easy dunk. Nice stop by Biggs here off a really good shot. Right to him. Pythagoras has kind of an open goal, but didn't get the touch he looked like he wanted, unfortunately. And Arish is going to take over right now. A nice demo. Mm. Yeah, the Napalm fighting to the nail for this second win. The Landlord's fighting that much harder to get their first win. This a is great it. clear comes of this it. Is it. And a, the Napalm are going to capitalize, and they're going to take this game 4-3 to three in overtime. Man. I think that's... I think Arish is showing one of the reasons why he gets really solid hits most of the time in the ball, especially when he looks like he's aiming for that goal. <laughs> and a yeah, little bit the, of the, banter. A little bit of banter there, exactly, exactly. Um, but insane performance by both teams here. One very dominant player on both sides of the field here. Maddox Biggs, 1,119 points. Arishi goal, 1,075 points. Uh, MVP going over towards the uh, Napalm squad with Arishi goal coming out with it. Uh, but honestly, seven saves on one side from one player and five saves from another player. It, it has just been an insane battle on the goal line, it seems. Yeah, Maddox and Arish are shining in the spotlight of the uh, Twitch stream that we've got going on. And sometimes you see that, like just people just break out and they love to show what they can do. And they're not even being, I would call flashy or anything. They're playing really, really solid. And I, I, I like how that they're playing Rocket League right now. They're not playing, I'm on camera league and it, it's a beautiful thing to see yeah no I, I think you hit the nail right on the head there when you're saying is they're not playing too flashy they're not playing to show out for the camera uh for the stage that we have set for these players they are playing for themselves and it is shining through tenfold you know you had two players that game uh on opposite sides of the field hit 1000 points and, and that just goes to show uh how high quality um, uh, this minor tier has, has really become. <laughs> Excuse me, I Get coughed him. right there. I apologize. Right now, oh, I agree with you. Go ahead, please. Yeah, so this minor tier going down to their third of three games. Jojo Mojo is going to be substituted in and shows up big for the landlords as they're trying to change things around. They come up early in each game, so we'll see if their momentum uh, is going to be able to break through this sort of continuous pattern through this series. But Jojo Mojo coming in, uh, and it's going to slot that first goal away for the landlords. Looking like that was a decent move so far, but we'll, time will tell to see how, their, how his defense is. He or she, I apologize, I actually don't know how their defense is in comparison to Pythagor Jags, because Pythagor Jags was playing solid, even though Maddox Biggs was the basic star and, and the person all the way around, uh, Pythagor Jags was playing very solid. Yeah, it, you kind of wonder if, if that's going to be able to provide the extra that the landlords need, and King coming up huge for the Napalm, and now they tie up the game once again, still early in this game three. Yeah, and great pass, and nice and easy, unfortunately, because the blue team wasn't rotated properly. They got kind of thrown out a little bit, and uh, it led to a nice, open, easy goal for the Napalm. You kind of hope that this isn't going to, to continue in the same pattern that it has been, you too, because that each game has been a tight overtime game um, that has been decided late into overtime. Uh, but at the same time, you're hoping for a little bit of change here if you're on the Landlords. You're hoping for the sweep if you're over on the Napalm. Um, but Landlords, you wonder if making Jojo Mojo come in for Dagger Jags is going nice to be enough hit. to break that continuous momentum from the Napalm and the Maddox Biggs once again coming through for the Landlords. Yes, and I'm going to be, I'm very interested to see how Napalm responds because again, they have responded pretty much with a goal within the first 10, 15 seconds of getting scored on. Uh, so I, I'm a little interested to see if the landlords can prevent any sort of momentum coming up in this particular possession. As a great demo right there by Maddox Biggs on Arish. Uh, it definitely prevents any possibility right there. It's just very nice. Here's the wide open goal. Oh! Mm, just missing that one. And Maddox has a chance. 
great hook shot by Maddox Spinks, and look at that. That's exactly what they needed to to, to uh, change things up. They're up to, by two right now, and I don't remember anybody having a two-goal lead this series yet. No, this is definitely the first time we are seeing a team go up by two. Maddox Spinks, a great hook shot, is going to be able to put the landlords up by two here. A little bit of change of pace here as compared to what we would have saw or seen in those first couple of games. Uh, Napalm, it's your turn to answer. Let's see what you got, and let's see if you can tie this thing up or if you can get another goal generated for you guys. Um, but yeah, definitely seems to be a, a different set of, of tails here going into this game. The, the Landlord's playing defensively and playing more uh, in-your-face Rocket League is they're going to try to get another opportunity going for them, and it's going to miss off of the post. Um, <laughs> Another opportunity comes. It's a reach goal. Unfortunately, he's going to put that one center, but nothing comes oh. of it. He's going to try to get a hook shot here. Doesn't know how much boost he has. Jojo Mojo tries to get a save, but a reach goal gets a great flick over both landlords. And now we got three to two. The Napalm are not want to be out of this yet. That boost over ball gamble right there looked like it bit him a little bit. I'm not sure how much boost he had, unfortunately, but ooh, that was a, that was a risky call. And they're, not, they're now they're down one, and they have a little bit of momentum. And you don't want to give Napalm momentum. It burns. <laughs> Rightly so, and you, you, <laughs> using the, the team's name pun uh, really well there, I might add, too. You could hardly <laughs> tell your, your rookie RSC caster with puns you've been throwing out tonight, but I'm for it, and I'm hoping for uh, the mm. continuation of that as this game continues, and, and let's hopefully see what comes of this napalm possession here and maybe we get a tie ball game because of it great demo opportunity strikes for the napalm here and bad experience is going to be able to turn that one away yeah and it seems like uh, napalm's getting a little bit more aggressive after being down two goals they are pushing the envelope a little bit and ooh, great great save right there because Arish had a great touch at the end and i i think the uh napalm being aggressive is probably going to be a good thing because the offense from the landlords has been so spot on so far this game. Yeah, I, I would definitely have to tend to agree with you there. An opportunity that goes there for King, but he's going to get off wide. Um, but yeah, it definitely seems to be a different landlord squad here. They do have a lot of offensive pressure going for them. They do have a lot of solid defense, solid goal line defense too, I might add. Um, and a couple of misfortunate uh, touches for the napalm squad is they've missed wide a couple different times we'll see if their luck changes around and see if the the uh, i guess in this case would be the third defender the post and, and the crossbar goes in their favor a little bit but uh going uh -oh. into the last minute and a half or so it looks like it's all landlords nice play right there by king to get away from maddox because that was sort of dangerous if he had enough uh enough momentum enough boost right there but king has definitely been playing a much better Get a much better game. He's we've called him a few times, and he's been a little bit more aggressive. And I think that's what they need. They unfortunately to still keep themselves in this game because you're starting to get under a minute, and under a minute to go is uh, it starts to get crunch time. Very true. But under a minute is still plenty of time to score just one goal that the Napalm need to be able to get this game tied up. Um, and potentially switch the momentum of the game here. Mm. But this. Solar playoff hunt, both of these teams just showing why they deserve to be in it and, and where they are, you know? Why they deserve to be where they are, rather. And, and it's just a great showing for the minor uh, tiers Solar Conference. I agree, and I know that the Landlords are down 2 nothing right now, but if they can eke out this win, they, they should go into their last week of the season with confidence because they're playing a really great offensive team. And you can see why they're a good offensive team. But they've uh, they've shown that their defense is definitely capable. Definitely, the final seconds tick down, and the ball is going to touch the ground, and the Great landlords game. break the sweep. Great game right there. That was an excellent excellent change for uh, uh, the landlords to put in JoJo. It scored right off the bat for the most part, and kept a a decent amount of pressure up, and it sort of threw the Napalm off their game a little bit.